I'm not going to be here for Christmas after all. Mater stopped dead in his tracks. You're not? Hello, fantastic peeps! My name is Rachel, and I hope that you've had a great day so far. I want to say thank you so much for joining me today as we count down to Christmas together. We are already entering day 15. We are already entering day 16 of our series, so if you haven't watched the previous one yet, feel free to check it out through the link in my description box below. On our book, we have a little sum sum right there. Can anyone tell me which sum sum is this? It's Lightning McQueen from Cars. Isn't he so cute? For those who have already stick with me for 15 days, I want to say thank you so much for your support. Without further ado, let's jump into Day 16 of our Disney Storybook Collection Advent Calendar series. Our Advent Calendar is open up and Lightning McQueen has been moved to there because that's the only place he can stand. So we have Day 16 popping up right there, as you can see, titled The Best Present Ever. Oops! Sorry, Lightning McQueen. <laughs> Let me just... Oh, okay. You can stand right there. We have Mater and Lightning McQueen himself, titled The Best Present Ever. Let's look at the description. When Lightning McQueen learns he won't be in Radiator Springs for Christmas, his best friend Mater sets out to find the perfect gift for his buddy. But with some bumps in the road, will Mater find the best present ever? Oh, will he? Let's find out together. Hey Lightning, look at me! Woo! Mater Slay passed his best buddy, Lightning McQueen, it was winter time in Radiator Springs, Christmas was just a few days away, and fresh snow covered the ground. The two friends were taking turns sliding down the snow-covered hill using Mater's one-of-a-kind scrapeyard sleigh. I'm telling ya, this here is the best sleigh in Radiator Springs, Mater cried. I know, you have told me, Lightning said, laughing. Several times. It has its own headlights, super fast colliders, and built in bumper tires, the friends said together. Well, hold your house power, said Mater, because it's going to be even more fun when we take it sleighing at Curse Blosh Mountain. Curse Blosh Mountain was a water park near Radiator Springs. For just one day a year at Christmas, the water slides were frozen over so that cars could go sleighing down the chutes. Uh, Mater, there's something I need to tell you. Lightning looked worried. Remember that Russian ice races cup I'm competing in? Well, sure, said Mater, the one in a few weeks. That's just it, Lightning said. They moved it up to this week. I'm not going to be here for Christmas after all. Mater stopped dead in his tracks. You're not? Lightning shook his head. I'm really sorry, buddy. I know I'll miss Christmas at Curse Blosh Mountain. But hey, maybe we can do something else when I get back. Yeah. Sh sure thing, Mater said, trying to hide his disappointment. Such a good friend. Later that afternoon, Mater pulled into Flo's V8 Cafe. Hey there, Mater, Flo called. Want to try sh Want to try a sip of my new eggnog oil? It's guaranteed to fill you up with Christmas cheer. I could use some, said Mater. I'm all out of Christmas cheer. Something got you down, honey? Flo asked. Mater sighed. Lightning won't be home for Christmas. He's in some Russian rice cup. That's too bad, Flo say. I guess you'll have to celebrate Christmas early. Yeah, celebrate early. That's a good idea, said Mater. Then he thought for a moment. Oh shoot, I forgot about presents. I've got to get lightning something. About what? Flo looked thoughtful. Hmm, well, you're going to miss him while he's away, right? Yeah, Mater nodded eagerly. So how about getting him something for the race, so he knows you'll be thinking of him? Like, 
earmuffs or a snow scraper? Or snow tires? That's a great idea, Flo. I know just where to go. Mater dashed off. Luigi! Mater yelled as he skipped up to Casa de la Tires. I need your help. Luigi smiled. For you, Mater, anything. Those snow tires, said Mater, the ones that used to be in your front window. Where did it go? I need to buy them for lightning for his crushing dice cup. <laughs> Mater keeps smashing up the names of the, of the um, competition name. Luigi's smile faded. Ah, I can do anything but that. I'm afraid someone's already bought them. They left just a moment ago. Sure enough, outside, a big truck was driving away from the shop. Oh, is this the, is this the truck? Oh, it is. Mater raced after the truck. Mater raced after the truck and explained the situation, then pleaded with the truck. I need those tires for my best buddy's Christmas gift. I'll give you anything. The truck sighed. Sorry, but I've been dreaming of speeding through the snow with these super fast tires. What if I told you I had something that goes even faster than those tires? Curious, the truck agreed to meet Mater at the edge of town. Meanwhile, Mater raced to his graveyard to grab his sleigh. All right, Mater said when the two trucks met again. I'll bet my sleigh is faster going down the hill than you in those tires. If I'm right, we'll trade. Deal? The truck agreed and soon they were zipping down the snowy slope. Mater zoomed past the truck and won. The truck happily traded the tires for Mater's awesome sleigh. Oh. Meanwhile, Lightning was helping Sally decorate the cozy cone motel. I feel awful, he said. Mater looked so sad when I told him. Well, said Sally, do you need to do the race? Huh? Asked Lightning. It's not part of your normal circuit, Sally pointed out. I'm sure they'll understand if you didn't go. Lightning's eyes lit up. You're right. Mater is my best friend, and a trophy is just another trophy. I'm going to withdraw from the race and stay here for Christmas. Lightning raced home to call Witterly Petro, who was hosting the Ice Races Cup. Witterly told Lightning not to worry. He could reschedule the race for after Christmas. That works out great. Thanks, Witterly, said Lightning. He couldn't wait to tell Mater the good news. On his way to see his best buddy, Lightning drove past a big sign for Curse Blosh Mountain. He suddenly had an idea for the perfect gift. Both friends are getting gifts for each other. This is exciting. The next day, Lightning and Mater exchanged gifts. Open yours, open yours, open yours, cried Mater. Okay, said Lightning. But Mater, I have some good news that Lightning trailed away as he unwrapped the tires. You got this for me? He asked, looking up at his friend. Yeah, Mater grinned from mirror to mirror. If my best buddy can't be here for Christmas, then he sure as heck better win his blushing mice cup. <laughs> Do you like them? Lightning was touched. Mater, I love them, but... Mater was already ripping open his gift. When he saw the two tickets to Curse Blush Mountain, his eyes grew wide. Lightning shrugged. My race was delayed, so now I can spend Christmas with you, buddy. No way! Mater exclaimed. This is awesome! I can't believe we're going to Curse Blush Mountain on Christmas Day. Now we can take my sleigh and... Uh-oh. Hey, where is your sleigh? Lightning asked, looking around. Mater shuffled nervously. Um, I may have kind of, sort of traded it to get you them. There's no tires. The two friends stared at each other. Then they started to laugh. Can you believe this? Lightning exclaimed. We thought we were getting each other the perfect Christmas presents, but we ended up getting stuff we can't use. Mater nodded. Yeah, but I'll tell you one thing, buddy. Spending Christmas together is still the best present ever. Lightning smiled. Same here, pal. I wouldn't change a thing. Mater looked at the gifts. Well, shoot. 
What are we going to do with four tires and no race and two tickets with no sleigh? A twinkle came to Lightning's eye. Well, we may not have a scrapeyard sleigh, but we do have a scrapeyard. Mater, didn't your old sleigh have bumper tires? Mater bounced up and down. Oh, oh, I see where you're going. He started racing around his scrapeyard, collecting things to build new sleighs. This is going to be so cool. On Christmas Day, Mater and Lightning sat at the top of Curse Blosh Mountain. Beneath them was a new scrapeyard sleigh, except this one was extra special. It had two seats, flashing Christmas lights, double gliders, and extra large bumper tires. It's Mater's sleigh 2.0 with double the sleighing fun, cried Mater. You ready for this? Lightning asked as they teetered on the top of the slide. You bet, said Mater. As long as I've got my good body with me, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. The end. <laughs> this is such a fun book. I really enjoyed reading this. What do you guys think about this story? I definitely can see the great friendship between Mater and Lightning, as Lightning sacrificed his race just for Mater, and Mater sacrificed his sleigh just for Lightning. Such beautiful friendship. They have. As always, guys, stay safe and healthy, keep a smile up and your heads high, and have a magical and fantastic day ahead. Bye for now, and see you tomorrow.